In this video, I'm going to look at this boarding penalty to Team USA's Kendall Coyne and talk about how she maybe got a bit of a raw deal here. So you see, she tries to take a shot, she beats two defenders, and she goes in and, and does push the Canadian player up against the boards. But if you watch her approach, it's very clear that she's trying to get a good angle. She's lining herself up with that Canadian player's shoulder, whose chest is currently exposed and open for contact. And she turns to the side and attempts to pin the Canadian player. That's all it is, is an attempted legal, perfectly legal pin. The Canadian player sees the pressure, and she turns her back at the last second, tries to turn away from pressure, make an escape move, and doesn't make it. Now, we all know how I don't like to use the player turn their back as an excuse, but when the attacking player does everything right, I think that's a perfectly valid excuse. I only like to not use it as an excuse for when a player does something dirty, but watch Coin here. She doesn't go straight through the back. She doesn't take a straight line of approach. She doesn't leave her feet. She doesn't drive her arms up. And she even turns her skates to the side to slow down only enough to put as much pressure as she needs to put in to pin the Canadian player. She doesn't at all try and drive her through the boards or make any type of excessive force or contact. To me, this is just a player setting up for a perfectly legal hockey play move that's well within her right to do. And it's a Canadian player turning their back and putting themselves in a dangerous position that didn't end up being much because Coin did so many things right going into that. I can see why the official called this based on appearances, but I really don't think it was a penalty at all.